Welcome to Walletopia. As you know, we look all over the world to find unique wallets and makers who are honing the wallet craft that they love so much. Well, today we're reviewing a card wallet from STR Handmade in Lithuania. This is gonna be good, so let's get into it. All right, this is so good. Packaging does influence your perception of the brand, their attention to detail and the product you're about to experience and contributing to your conclusion about your decision to purchase the product in the first place. And was it a good selection or not? Really, never underestimate the quality of packaging and how it influences you. So as we can see here, this is a melted sealing wax with their stamp on it. Let's take a quick look at that before I break the seal on this. Ah, man, that is just so cool. Just, wow. All right this up here. Oh man, this is beautiful. Beautiful. This is the shroud. And again, as a bespoke type, not really totally custom, but you're able to choose the color of leather as well as the, the thread. And I chose a blue and an orange thread here. Just something different. As I mentioned, it's called the shroud. This feels really good. This is a great weight of leather. Oh, and of course it smells really good. Great stitching along here, as we can see. Nice flesh side of the leather. Nice smooth leather here. Man, this is great. Now another feature review of the Shroud from STR Handmade. As we can see, there is nothing on the exterior per se, but our first feature is right here. An external card slot for quick access for cash or cards. And then uh, your remaining card slot is on the interior here, right here on the inside. And so this provides us, uh, again, cards. This is really a card holder, that's its name and that's what it can do primarily, but of course you could fold cash twice and put it in here. And with that, that is a quick review of the features, honestly, of the Shroud from STR Handmade. Now on to the card and cash insertion test. Now you may have noticed in the most recent videos that we have that during the card and cash insertion test, the check marks for the currency change a bit. They're now yellow. Well, yellow means that if you have to fold the currency twice to get it in, it'll be yellow because we know optimal is really uh, once folded or flat. If you can get flat, that's even better. So that's why you see that. That's kind of just a little bit of an update because some wallets allow you to uh, fold them once or not at all or twice depending on the currency. Now from a minimalist perspective, uh, this can is really a card wallet. So two cards. I think reasonable is three or four. The company says up to six plus cash, which we see right here. You know, I put uh, four cards in here, one in the front, three in the main slot, and two slips of cash. Now, one thing to remember is that uh, this is handmade and we love it. It's designed and manufactured in Lithuania. This is a full grain veg tan Butaro, I'm sorry, Butero leather from the Wapier Tannery in Italy. Man, I can't pronounce things very well. The Ritza Tiger thread that's used here is also a very common and strong choice for leather makers. Now the weight here of the leather looks to be, you know, three and a half to maybe four ounces in thickness. And I can tell you that it's perfect. It's not so thick that you're really struggling with it, but it's not so thin that you're concerned about it. This was an excellent choice of weight of leather for a card wallet. It, it just, to me, it feels like the perfect, uh, the perfect weight, especially as it, with it being um, a, a, a kind of a wrap-ish wallet like it has here, and it reduces the amount of material that's used as a single piece of leather, because we can see from the fold here and the tuck that's in here that it's a single piece that's then sewn down the edge. We can also see that it's got a great, great uh, painted edge here, a nice finishing touch to this. I really like this. The pricing on this is $43, that's US, shipped to me free from Lithuania. Now, <laughs> it's, this fits in your hand just nicely, operates with cards without being sloppy, um, 
Insertion is easy. I just, I really like this. Now the measurements on this is 3.54 by 2.75 by 0.3 and it weighs 20 grams. So fairly light. Now Tomas, the shop owner, is very easy to work with and has a number of different wallet designs to choose from as well as DIY patterns. Now if you want some custom features or changes to the wallet, I know based on some of the features uh, uh, or the comments I've been reading from other customers that he's willing to do that. So if you see something that you want to have different on one of these wallets, get in touch with him, go through the links below and I'm sure he can accommodate you. Now onto the final rating. For quality of five, price of four, great price for this, features of three, usability of three and perception of four. That gives this wonderful little wallet a final score of 40 out of 50. Man, I love seeing uh, wallets from different parts of the world. Wonderful makers, fantastic craft, it's awesome. Want to see these other uh, videos? Look at those. Uh, look at the rankings that maybe interest you on our website for all the wallets we've reviewed. And we'll see you in the next review. Thanks, bye.